really seem to enjoy that. I did a little bit of work out here. I scraped out all the uh, droppings from underneath yesterday and uh, put down some crushed stone where all the water falls from the roof. And I added some, some fill right here because there's a uh, drain pipe that comes down this way and then it goes into the trench from my sink up there in the garage in the workshop. So did those little little projects yesterday and uh, everybody's out of the nest now, all the, all the babies. That's one of the babies right there. That's one, they're both, both babies. Their nest was right in that corner right there. A little bit of grit out here for them. Um, show you the other babies. Uh, let's see, those two are adults. I put this nest box here because in the morning I put all the babies in it and I feed them in there so that the babies have an opportunity to eat twice, twice a day. And um, the, ad the adult birds only eat once a day. That's a baby right there, nice, nice big one, and that's a baby right there, and those those two over there on the end are, are also just out of the nest. So you see, their mother's got another egg there. Actually, it's a fake egg. Uh, <clears throat> they don't want to quit uh, nesting. I got uh, let's see, got three three eggs. Uh, I think one of the dogs took one, but. Um, I got three eggs in the past day and a half, so. Uh, but that's going to be it for this year. We got, a, we got a nice little blue bar down there, a little beauty. And that, that grizzles, a, that grizzles going to be a big boy. But, um, anyway, they're. Uh, it's a little bit warm today, so I decided to give them a little spray down bath. These guys are doing great now. They, uh, they've been rain, ranging for at least, at least 20 minutes. They, they come out and um, hit the sky and they're gone. I don't see them for at least 20 minutes. So they're, they're doing what they're supposed to. It took them a while to, uh, to get to it, but um, now everybody's done molting and they're all flying good. They look a little hungry right now so pretty soon I'll let them out and uh, let them go for a go for a good run take a look at my roller pigeons so the two baby rollers uh, I just put in here yesterday afternoon which is that one right there and that one those two so brand new babies i'm curious to see if they're going to molt because um the days are pretty short now and i'm wondering if uh if they're going to hit that juvenile molt or if they're going to wait till the spring to do it I'd be curious to find out i don't really know the answer to that so uh, they just give them some grit also. So I have, have 21 birds in here. They're, they're uh, anywhere from a year and a half old to a month and a half old. All ages. And they don't particularly fly too well together. But they do fly and they do have a good time. Um, fun to watch. Uh, hasn't been too many hawks lately, so I've been grateful for that. I haven't had uh, any hawk. Uh, last time I saw a hawk was with the Muleman's and the Black Eagles, and they uh, the hawk almost looked like he wanted to fly with him. Obviously, he had other things on his mind, but um, he didn't really try grabbing the birds. And um, my Muleman's and Black Eagles they left for about 45 minutes. Then they came back, and so that worked out. I mean, that's good. That's that's what you want. It's good training. So those birds are all set now. They could probably, 
if I was going to do training with them, I could start tossing them now, but I'm not, I'm not uh, going to do that. Th those are breeders. I've just been letting them fly because of my own curiosity. Let's check out the racing pigeons. Hey guys. I did was um, I put put those sticks across there and I dumped the uh, grit next to the wall and uh, I've been doing that for about a week now and uh, they, they, nobody poops in it or nothing it stays pretty clean up against the wall so I'll probably continue doing that hey buddy So there, these guys, uh, all my breeders are looking real good, real healthy. I started feeding them twice a day, just because uh, the pigeon life is pretty boring. And I don't feed them any more than I would if I fed them twice a day, but I just split it in half. I give them half in the morning and half it in the evening. I think they're a little bit happier that way. You know, if I have the time to do it, that's what I do. But everything's going well. There's not too much going on this time of year. Breeding stopped. Uh, we just, uh, we're in limbo. We're waiting for breeding season. And then, uh, of course, we're start training the young birds for the races next year if everything goes well i still need to um, i still need to put my exhaust fan on a roof here and i want to get a little bit better lighting in here so when i want to get a jump start on a breeding breeding season i can uh, turn the lights on real early in the morning on a timer but we'll go through that when the time comes. These guys like their day pen. And uh, of course I shut, them, shut it at night and put them all inside to keep the birds safe so nothing can get at them. But uh, they really do enjoy getting out here in the sun. Take a look at some puppies. Hey guys. All right. These are two two males that I have left. They're uh, eight weeks old. I think yesterday they turned eight weeks old. I had both of them sold and uh, at the last minute they let me know that for whatever reasons they couldn't do it. So they're still here. Usually I have them all gone by the time they're before they're seven weeks old, they're all gone. But anyway, it's fine. I like having them around anyway. A lot of fun. No, yeah, buddy. Yeah. That's a full full sister to these pups. She's uh, almost two years old. In a few more months, she'll be two years old. And um, see if we can find her a suitable mate. That's also a sister. That one's uh, six months younger. Take a look at this dad right there. 
Big boy Duke. Hi, right, buddy. And there's the mama. Huh, Dixie? Good girl. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like a little video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.